Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Your host of Raven here uh, with another play. Um, here, um, I, I bet you everybody's wondering, like, okay, we see you online, we see you playing uh, Xbox. How come there's no Minecraft videos? How come there's no Skyrim videos? There's no Borderlands 2 videos. There's no more uh, Mass Effect videos. Well, the thing about that is, ladies and gentlemen, um, I, when I moved to Florida, I left my Xbox um, with my sister. I let her have it, and I only bought my um, I only bought my uh, memory card or whatever. You know, the little the stick, the what do you call that thing? Flash drive or whatever. You know, the Xbox flash drive. And uh, and I came down here, and um, my friend's Xbox. He has a connect. But he uses the HDMI cable, um, which hasn't been able to, um, which I don't have the right the equipment to can hook the HDMI cable up to my laptop for this recording program that I use. So I have to get another recording uh, program, and I have to get another, um, and I have to get some more equipment, more advanced equipment. And you know, and that costs money. You know, nothing's free. So until then. Uh, I'll be uploading Super Nintendo uh, playthroughs. And anyway, we have a real treat um, for you today. This is Spider Man and Venom in Maximum Carnage. And um, this is, uh, if you saw the title screen, and any people who watch AVN, uh, AVGN, any of you video game nerd, knows about LJN and their history of really shitty, really awful games. Um, and this is actually made by LJN, which is amazing. I guess maybe there's somebody took over the company or something when uh, Super Nintendo came out because I actually like this game. It's excellent. And here we have a little backstory about uh, Carnage being uh, in prison, but he's got the symbiote. And he's about to explode, and he's going to tear the guard's new asshole. And I like the graphics in this game. I like the fighting mechanics. Um, I'm sorry if I'm skipping that uh, text too fast. But you can see he's really whipping them up. And then you know, he have his girlfriend. My name is Shriek. Ooh la la. Well you always have to have a beautiful woman in any story. Whether she's evil or good. So... So anyway, they think they spot Spider-Man, but this isn't Spider-Man, this is a doppelganger. So we have our villains starting to get together. Um, basically, premise of the story, uh, Carnage was incarcerated. Um, he managed to get the symbiote on him. He escapes. He hooks up with Shriek. She's hot and evil. Then they find a doppelganger, which is kind of like a crazy-ass... Uh, version of Spider-Man or whatever. I, I never read too much of the Spider-Man comics. I've, I've seen all the movies and um and I watched the animated show when I was a kid but I definitely don't remember um I didn't read too much into the comics. Well anyway this is a side scroll and beat him up and we're about to beat some ass as Spider-Man today. Uh, I like the way they um they incorporated Spidey's moves into the game. I think they really did a really good job of uh, um, making you feel like you're Spider-Man. You know, and like I say, I like the graphics. The enemy can the enemies uh can get kind of repetitive. Um, I mean, you can you know they got there's only like so many uh styles of guys or whatever. There's the homeless guys, which these guys in the trench coat. I, they're not homeless, but they look homeless to me for some reason. So I just call them homeless guys. But as Spider-Man, you can swing. You have your spider sense. Um, you can, as you can like beat a bunch of people at once. Um, you have various spider moves, which I'll try to demonstrate if I can not get beat up while I'm doing it. But I love this game. Oh, I've never been able to beat it on my own. Um, in fact, I don't think I've ever beaten it like once.
Yeah, that's right. Take that. You, know, you can. It's a one-player game. It's solo. You can play as Spider-Man or Venom. Got a little bit of life there. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, if you haven't played it, I would highly recommend. If you're a Spider-Man fan, if you're a Marvel Comics fan, even if you like the villains of Venom or Carnage or Shriek or the Doppelganger or the Hobgoblin or any other you know evil minions that make their appearance, I highly recommend this. Um, like I'm playing on an emulator, so um. There may be some weird things happening, like uh, sometimes the scene won't like. <laughs> sometimes the scene won't, um, you know, show. Uh, I need that help. Oh shit! I didn't mean to get both of them. Well, anyway, um, basic fighting mechanics. Uh, you got your standard punch combo. If you hold forward, you'll you'll kind of grab the guy and like punch him a little bit and chuck him. Oh damn! I tried to double smash him. There we go, double smash. There we go, double smash. Well, if you have enemies on both sides of you, you can do that double smash move, but that's kind of hard to pull off sometimes. Oh, damn, I'm getting my ass whooped by two girls. There we go, double smash. You can actually kill them in one hit if you do it right in the beginning. I failed this time. Oh, yeah, come on. One, you can really like kick their ass. You know what I'm saying? There we go. We have. I think it's about fighting actually 63%. Wow. I think the best I've ever had was like maybe 80%. Um, we have music by Green Jelly this game. Um, and here we have a demonstration of Spider Man Spidey Sense. As you can see, the tingling tells me how to get away from um, Shriek's uh, electric lightning bolt or whatever. Pretty straightforward stuff. Damn it. And then just be patient um, with the arrows. Sometimes they'll make you go back the way, you know, there's obviously a dead end. All right. And it's just, I mean, it's a straightforward fun. I mean, it's, it's as good as it can get. I mean, for an old school beat em up, I mean, basically you punch, kick, you know, beat the brakes off of people. There's a hidden uh, one up in this tower. But I'm trying to get punched by um, Doppelganger, too. And if you hit him with the tower, that's an instant kill. Oh, okay. Well, this time I got it to work. And we have a continuation of the story here. And uh, you know, it's a Super Nintendo, so they don't have voiceovers. You know, technology ain't that good. <laughs> but they did a really good job of this. Um, this unfortunately is single player. Um, this is a miracle, Spider-Man. My ribs are killing me. Uh, if 
ambitious punks don't do it first. So basically, you know, he got double teamed by Shriek and Double Ganger. Shot off the roof, so he's injured. And that dude's trying to take advantage of that situation. But will he let it? Hell no. Let's go, Spider Man. Let's go. Alleyway. Trying to beat some ass in the alleyway. And I'm losing a lot of health already. Fuck. I'm not as good as, this, uh, as I was like 15 years ago. Oh, damn. Alright. And, um. Now you can see with some of our um, assailants are female. Now, I don't condone violence against women in real life. But, you know, in Spider Man, X Men, Maximum Carnage, I highly recommend it. In fact, if you're angry with your girlfriend, play Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man been on maximum carnage and beat some chick's ass. Oh damn! I lost a life there. I got some ass beat going on. A lot of that, you'll see a lot of that happening of like beating people's ass when they're off screen. Come on, bro. Yeah, right. Hansa apparently is her name. But yeah, there's only like four or five like of the basic enemy types. Um you got the homeless guys, you know, and they're in various colors. You have the chicks and their colors and suits gets up gets up and get ups, I mean. And you have the street punk dudes. And you can see Spider-Man has some acrobatic moves, you know, he can do a backflip. Beating this chick's ass. Come here, chick. <laughs> there we go. I lost a life, though. That's not a good thing. Alright, Big J bit the dust. Let's go, Paul. I like their, their names. If you if you have time to pay attention to it, their names are, can be really funny. Yeah, that's the move I was trying to I was looking for. The with the with the spin kick, like that gets rid of all like like you know it comes in handy if you're surrounded. But I can't figure out how to do it on command. I had to spin kicking the hell out of these buttholes. Oh, damn it, see, I lost a life. Damn. Alright, well, we get two continues, and I'm really rusty at this. Like, usually I don't die, like, right here. Usually I don't, like, lose or continue to, like, the Central Park area. But I got my butt handed to me. And then you can see you got the Kachak, pop, 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 pow, you know. 
the old school Batman sound effect attacks. Puck, 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 kachak. <laughs> puck, kachak. Chomp. Now she got her ass wore out. And I'm losing a lot of health though. It's like, you're not supposed to really get hit. Like, I'm, y'all can't, y'all may not think it, but I am doing an awful job with this. came flying in with the kick. Yeah, usually I don't get beat up this bad this early in it. See, I just lost a life, damn it. But it's been a while. Y'all gotta give me some a break. I mean, it has been like 15 years since I was like really good at this. But it's still fun as hell to play. That's why I'm doing a, a video of it now. But I don't want the video to go too long, so I'll probably break it up here. I'll keep I'll keep playing it until Beat her ass in the corner. <laughs> That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Double smash. At least I'm showing a little bit of skill. There we go again. I don't know why we keep missing those opportunities. Ah, oh, damn. There's too many of them in that corner over there. There's a lot of off-screen fighting, but like once you play it, you get used to it. It won't be so bad, you know. Ah, oh, I forgot about that kick. There we go, power hit. that the double smash they have to be like like both of them have to be like right on the same level as you oh damn come on I'm about to die again it's awful whoa man oh it's unbelievable <laughs> I'm sorry guys oh shoot well I guess I keep playing until I lose since I'm losing so fast I thought I'd get to y'all more of it well, I'm like, I'm like major, I'm really sucking today. Damn, I tried to do that spin kick. It didn't work out for me. Oh, 
Oh wow! I didn't know there was health and oh, there's an extra life up there. Oh okay. Well, maybe I'll pass this level after all. got like what a couple more ways hope I can pass this for y'all well if I suck too bad today I'll, I'll, re I'll make sure I'll play it when I'm better and re-upload it Yeah, there's a lot of ass beating off screen though. And uh, actually, they made a sequel to this um, called Maximum Carnage. Uh, no, it's um, it was uh, Separation Anxiety, Spider-Man and Venom in Separation Anxiety. Oh yeah. Derek didn't even get a hit in. Still in tail. Come in, chick. Some ways I just love people making it up. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, here we go. This is the second boss time. Fat Man. Which, um, this is a. If you lose this fight, it's okay. It's a story mode thing anyway. Just kind of avoid his fat man slams. And like, the funny thing about it is like, as long as I keep him up on, uh, you know, spinning around like this, he's helpless. Which is kind of a funny thing to do to a boss, but, you know, it's... He's, he's become, they all become regular enemies um, after you beat them. Damn it, I got knocked down. But as you can see, Cloak and Dagger come to save the day. We'll see what they have to say. Spider-Man still needs our help, Cloak. Is he? I don't know yet, Cloak. Just take us home. So we got rescued by Cloak and Dagger, and we're going to the church they live in. Now I haven't read the Cloak and Dagger comics. I only know that like they're two like drug acts or something that like doing drugs activate their mutant, mutant powers or whatever, and they live in a church. And I hate this fight. You have to fight both Doppelganger and Shriek. I'm whooping that ass on the table. Get some of this. Get some of this. Oh, damn. Whoa, let me get out of that. <laughs> Don't want any of that. Oh, shit. And for some reason, out of all the bosses, Shriek is the only one you can pick up. And here we go. I guess the ticks are so good. The weapon was so light, you know? around but doppelganger and uh and the hobgoblin you can't do them like that oh damn okay and then we had something happen and then what is he saying tanoi tandy 
Looks like he's saying Tandy. And here we have them. Well, I guess I'm making this a pretty long video. I guess I'm so in the mood of playing it, you know. It's like once you start like beating the crap out of people, you want to succeed, and that's why I like this game. It's like it takes to beat them up, and it makes it. It has an actual good story to it. You actually want to like start kicking ass. You want to see what happens. Now we have the interest of Venom. Now if you select Spider-Man, uh, you could. I forgot what happens next, but I always like to pick Venom for this part. The Venom kicks ass. Um. Just like in, you know, true to the comics, uh, Venom is stronger than Spider-Man. He has a lot, you know, a lot more power moves and stuff. Um, he's he's kind of the same, but he's also different. But the differences between uh, Venom. Actually, it's, it's a lot easier to play as Venom. And you can see I picked that guy up and punched him in the gut and then dropped him on the head of his friend. Getting kind of wore out there. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah. Oh. Now I'm making Venom look weak. He's getting beat up by like three girls. Well, there's two of them now. And Stacy coming in with a flying kick and missed hard as a month. What's this dude doing? Stealing from the ATM? Oh man. I used to be so much better at this game. I would never get like like these like situations or whatever, like And uh, Venom's got a little bit of that Battletoads action going on there with the giant fist to finish the guys off. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You're beating her ass. And that's what I'm talking about. There we go. Alright, boss time sounds like. Oh, damn, they hit me with the fat man. Now you can see some of that Spider-Man agility, as you can see in his uh, back flips and uh, forward kicks. But he has more power, and that's what I like about him, you know. Alright, they got one of them off their green, like, uh, energy bar or whatever. So I'm gonna beat, try to beat his ass first. Oh, shit, damn, that took a lot out. Damn, they're killing me. Oh, shit, I'm about to lose. Oh, no, don't lose. Easier said than done, huh? Oh, fuck. Well, game over, ladies and gentlemen. Well, anyway, I had a lot of fun playing it again. <laughs> and it's 
seen a high score of 37,000. Um, I highly recommend it. If you haven't played it, just download the ZSNES uh, emulator for your laptop or PC. Uh, buy you a cheap, you know, Logitech, you know, controller so you can play it, you know, and uh, just have fun like hell. It's an awesome game. Uh, I could have done a little bit better. I am a bit rusty, but, you know, like I say, it's been like 15, 20 years since I was a kid, you know, uh, playing this game. So, um, you know, I'm asking y'all to tell me a little bit of slack on that. But anyway, if you like Spider-Man, you like Venom, you like kicking ass, I recommend uh, Maximum Carnage. Uh, I'm your host, Raven, and uh, I thank y'all for watching. Um, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. You know, if you comment, I always get back to the people who comment. You know, I stay active on my channel. I never, even if I'm not upload, uploading videos, I'm still active. I'm still paying attention to... Um, you know, if you write me a que ask a question, or you say, you know, or you have a comment, I always respond to those. Um, so, you know, you won't be left hanging. Well, anyway, thank you all for watching, and have a good day.